Good morning and welcome to WWDC. We have a big day of announcements about our latest technologies and platforms. Together with iPhone, iOS helps you get so much done, whether you're at home or on the move. And the next release, iOS 16, offers new intelligence, sharing, and communication features that are going to enhance so much of what you do with your iPhone. The new lock screen remains undeniably iPhone. Let me show you. Here's my lock screen. You'll notice the subtle depth effect with my daughters appearing in front of the time. I really love it. Now, if I just press and hold, I can personalize it further. I'll just tap customize and now I'm in the editor. Now check this out. I can simply swipe to try out different styles that automatically change the color filter, the background, and the font for the time, all to complement each other. It's easy to dial it in further to get it just the way I want it. All I need to do is tap on any element of the lock screen to start editing. So let's customize the font. I can audition different typefaces and choose from different colors. So let me move the girls down here and tap in to bring up the widget gallery. So I'll add the temperature, uh, my activity rings, and let's drag in the calendar widget. Now this is great. And what's even better is I'm not limited to just one. Let's create another. I can bring up our brand new wallpaper gallery, which showcases a bunch of options for inspiration. And there are plenty to choose from here. So much room for personalization with millions of combinations. With Photo Shuffle, I can choose a set of photos to shuffle throughout the day. And we also have suggested photos, intelligently curated for my personal library, like the best shots of family that look great on the lock screen. Notifications now roll in from the bottom of the lock screen as you receive them, and you can choose to hide them throughout the day. And now we're adding three of the most highly requested features to messages. First, have you ever sent a message only to immediately realize you didn't quite say what you intended? Well, no worries, because now you can edit any message you just sent. So embarrassing typos can be a thing of the past. Second, have you ever wished you'd never sent that message at all? Well, good news, now you have undo send. So you can immediately recall a recent misfire. And finally, you can now mark any thread as unread, a perfect tool if you don't have time to respond in the moment and wanna be sure to come back to a message later. And we're making it that much easier to compose messages with some updates to dictation. Now, when I start dictating, the keyboard stays open so I can switch between using voice and touch. I can even select text using touch and replace it with my voice. just by speaking. Are you sending a longer message? Dictation automatically adds punctuation to the text. We're introducing iCloud Shared Photo Library to help you share photos seamlessly and even automatically. You can participate in one shared library that's shared with up to five other people. We've made it simple to share just the photos you want from your library. You can share everything already in your library or choose what to include based on a start date or the people in the photos. Once the shared library is set up, you can manually move over new photos after you take them, but we wanted to make it even easier with a new switch right in camera that sends shots straight to the shared library as you take them. You can also choose to have the sharing switch enabled automatically whenever you take shots with other members of the shared library nearby. So if you take photos on a camping trip, you don't have to remember to share them later. Everyone has equal permissions for adding, editing and deleting photos in the shared library. So if one member of the group is a talented photo editor, everyone gets to enjoy their edits to the shared photos. Deletions, captions, and keywords sync too. Today, we're excited to start the next generation of Apple Silicon for the Mac. Introducing M2. M2 is built using an enhanced second generation five nanometer technology and features over 20 billion transistors. That's 25% more than M1. So for M2, we've enabled up to 24 gigabytes of unified memory to handle even larger and more complex workloads. M2 features our next generation CPU with advancements in both the performance and efficiency cores. The performance cores are faster and feature a larger cache and the efficiency cores have been significantly enhanced. 
for even greater performance gains. M2 also features our next generation GPU, which now has up to 10 cores. That's two more than M1. It also has our next generation media engine, including a higher bandwidth video decoder that supports 8K H.264 and HEVC video. And M2 features our powerful ProRes video engine for hardware accelerated encode and decode. So systems with M2 will be able to play back multiple streams of 4K and 8K video. So that's M2. It starts our next generation of M-series chips with an 18% faster CPU, 35% faster GPU, 40% faster neural engine, and 50% more memory bandwidth. The new MacBook Air takes everything our users love about the Air to the next level. The new Air is just 11.3 millimeters thin, or under half an inch, and it's only 2.7 pounds. MacBook Air now comes in four finishes, silver, space gray, a gorgeous starlight, and a stunning midnight. And yes, MagSafe is back for dedicated charging and peace of mind when you're plugged in. And it keeps the two Thunderbolt ports free for connecting to a variety of accessories. There's also an audio jack with support for high impedance headphones. This all new design is incredibly portable and it's loaded with new features, starting with a brilliant liquid retina display. We expanded the display closer to the sides and up around the camera to make room for the menu bar. The result is a larger 13.6 inch display with much thinner borders. So MacBook Air features a new 1080p camera with twice the resolution and twice the low light performance of the previous Air. There's also some new charging options, including a compact power adapter with two USB-C ports, so you can charge two devices at once. And for the first time, the Air supports fast charge with an available 67 watt adapter. So you can charge up to 50% in just 30 minutes. To fit inside such a thin design, the speakers and mics are completely integrated between the keyboard and display, all while delivering an even better audio experience. The Magic Keyboard features a full height function row with Touch ID. And of course, the new Air has a spacious, industry-leading Force Touch trackpad. The all-new MacBook Air starts at $1199 and just $1099 for education, the 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's our most portable pro notebook, and users love the performance it delivers in its compact design. With an active cooling system, the MacBook Pro is designed to sustain its pro performance. And thanks to M2, it also supports up to 24 gigabytes of unified memory. Along with 50% more memory bandwidth, multitasking and working with large assets is super fluid. With support for ProRes Encode and Decode in M2's media engine, you can convert your video projects to ProRes nearly three times faster than before. MacBook Pro also delivers phenomenal battery life with up to 20 hours of video playback. So that's the powerful 13-inch MacBook Pro. The powerful 13-inch MacBook Pro starts at $1299 and $11.99 for education. Mac OS Ventura enriches so many of the ways we use our Macs. So let's jump in. When you're working on the Mac, it's really easy to find yourself with lots of open windows. Let's activate Stage Manager from Control Center. As you see, it automatically arranges all my windows for me off to the side and puts the app I'm currently working with front and center. When I bring forward a different app, like clicking on Mail here in the dock, you'll see that it's brought to the stage and Safari gracefully moves over to the left with my other recent apps. Spotlight is great for doing all kinds of things, like quickly launching an app or starting a search. And now you can peek at a result in Quick Look with a tap on the space bar. Spotlight can now also find images from your photo library across the system and on the web. We spend a lot of time in front of our Macs with our cameras on. Our webcams have become an integral part of work, school, and play. And now, with Continuity Camera, you can use iPhone as your webcam. Now, I'm just gonna pop this stand on my iPhone and attach it to my display. Let's launch FaceTime. You can see my Mac automatically detects my iPhone and uses it as the camera. I don't even have to wake up my iPhone. This all works wirelessly, so there's nothing to plug in. 
So to try this out, let's call a friend in the design studio. You know, one thing I love about continuity camera is center stage. I can move around and center stage will keep me in the frame. I'll frequently pair that with portrait mode to blur the background with that beautiful bokeh. A new one people are gonna love is studio light. Check this out. It brightens my face and darkens the background. Okay, now I wanna show my favorite new feature, desk view. You can see the work that's on my desk and it keeps me in the picture. It is amazing. Take a look. It looks like I have a dedicated overhead camera, but this is desk view creating both of these views from the one ultra wide camera on my iPhone using some very powerful image processing. I didn't even need to adjust my phone. Desk view is gonna be great for sharing new designs with my team. I can even use it to show my nephew a new card trick. And we're working with Belkin to offer beautiful stands to hold your iPhone at the perfect height and angle. These will be available later this year. This next generation of CarPlay provides content for all the driver's screens, giving an experience that is unified and consistent. It's the very best of both your car and your iPhone, and it goes beyond what you can do with CarPlay today. Deep integration with the car's hardware lets you tune your car's radio or change your temperature without ever leaving the CarPlay experience. It also includes widgets powered by your iPhone that fit your screens perfectly. They can live front and center in the gauge cluster as well, giving you information at a glance. In fact, this next generation of CarPlay powers your entire instrument cluster. To do this, your iPhone communicates with your vehicle's real-time systems in an on-device, privacy-friendly way, showing all of your driving information, like speed, RPMs, fuel level, temperature, and more. And no matter what type of unique screen shapes or layouts you may have, this next generation of CarPlay feels like it was made specifically for your car. Vehicles will start to be announced late next year, and we can't wait to show you more further down the road. Our vision for iPadOS is to create a distinct experience that's built on the best of iOS. This year, in iPadOS 16, we have a big release. Stage Manager, our latest windowing system that you just saw in macOS to iPadOS. Stage Manager takes multitasking on iPad to a whole new level by making it more nimble and unlocking full external display support. I'd like to show it to you now. Today on iPad, when you use apps, you get the full screen experience that we're all familiar with, like in photos here. With Stage Manager activated, I can now resize windows, exposing a powerful new way to work with apps on iPad. WatchOS 9 also introduces a refreshed Siri UI and new banner notifications. And active apps will be pinned to the top of the dock for quick access. And there's also a new custom workout that you can use to add structure into your run. For example, if you are trying to improve your speed or endurance, you can create a workout using distance and time intervals. During your run, these alerts will guide you with both haptics and voice feedback, letting you know when to switch between work and recovery and when to pick up the pace if your heart rate falls below the target zone that you set. We also know there are many iPhone users who want to meet their fitness goals but don't yet have an Apple Watch. So in iOS 16, the fitness app will be available to all iPhone users. WatchOS 9 can now track the amount of time your heart shows signs of this rhythm with AFib history. And in the health app, you can manage lifestyle factors that may influence the amount of time you spend in AFib, like exercise, sleep, and weight. AFib history even helps you identify the time of day or week when your AFib is most frequent. You can also share a PDF with your doctor to facilitate richer conversations. AFib history is a first of its kind feature that uniquely provides insights into your AFib over the long term. We expect to receive FDA clearance for AFib history soon.